Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out. Today is our 16th anniversary. We've been married for 16 years. Look at my flowers. And I just put them in my little face vase from World Market. Super cute. I'm in love, y'all. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sharik. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today is Tuesday and we are starting off the vlog. I have to go run some errands, but I did want to show you guys this slip dress that I found today in Target. Super cute. Now y'all know I have another slip dress that has like the lace detailing under the breast area. That one is just like a little dressy to me. So I wanted one that first of all fits right. So with this one, I love the way that it lays first of all, because y'all know um, the other ones that I've tried in the past, the one that they usually have with the spaghetti straps, that one always kind of bunch up in this area tight on the hips it just don't fit right or either it's too big and it look more like a nightgown so i finally found one that i can wear and that i like i really really like the way that this one's this one fits on me um i can wear this one with trainers if i wanted to flats heels the whole thing i love it so this is what i'm wearing today i bought this one in two colors let me show y'all online they have a few more colors so i'll link that for you guys but this is the back just regular and then this color is just like so pretty look at that so pretty and the straps are just like that other one that i have um i have a purple one let me see if i can find it this y'all remember this purple one this is the prettiest purple ever and then on chocolate skin oh girl but yeah this is a purple one but this one drops really low in the back this one is really really pretty i also have it in a green but this one is from the future collective um eleni noel collection that she did with target and i also bought her green one really really pretty but i needed a black one and it just looks so cute. Like, let me show y'all how it would look with a blade. See, if I wanted, I would switch up my shoes and probably my, um, let me take these off. And I would have on some different sunglasses, but how cute is this? Like, I love the blazer with the slip dress. You need a slip dress in your wardrobe. Like, that's like a staple that you just need in your wardrobe really cute of course i'm pairing this look with my ballet flats because i wear them all the time and i absolutely love them so this bob is one that i cut myself it's from i see hair but i cut it into a bob the glasses are old from free people amazon watch gucci crossbody and yeah that is my look for today so i need to go run my errands good morning y'all today is wednesday and i am getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment this morning so i just wanted to start the vlog off for today I'm getting ready to do my makeup. Obviously, I am using my e.l.f. BB cream. I have to order this from Emma. Ooh, from Amazon. This might be enough for my whole face. Because I don't like to put on too much. So, yeah. Um, I didn't go to the gym this morning because I had my doctor's appointment. So... I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'll let you guys watch me do that. I always get a lot of questions um, about my makeup and I keep it very simple. I just use um, concealer. I use the MAC concealer and the LA Pro. LA Pro Girl? Or, what is it? The LA Girl Pro Concealer and then the MAC Concealer. 
to kind of conceal um, under my eyes and my brows. And then, like I said, I use the e.l.f. BB cream. And then I use Ruby Kisses powder. And that's pretty much it. I don't do too much. I've been using the Refi, this Refi primer that I've been really enjoying. I will be repurchasing this because I really like it. So yeah, really simple. Um, and then I'm gonna use my new palette my blush, y'all know I wear orange blush. That's the only color that I wear. Um, I have the NARS orange blush. It looks like this. This is in the color Exhibit A. And then this one right here is from the hair store. I've been wearing this for years, maybe over 12 years. I always buy it from the hair store. It's the Nika K. Um, let's see if it tells me a color. Let me look around here. Um, it just has number NDO06. It has two different oranges in it, like a really bright one and then a darker orange. I like to use the darker orange, the one that looks just like the Exhibit A. So, and so I'm going to go ahead and get ready. Just add a little montage. Target maybe like two years ago. I have it in this sage green and I also have it in pink. It's really really cute. I love the way that it fits. This bag right here is from Cost. It's a little smushed because I had it in the closet. And then I'm wearing these little Gucci slides. They are from the men section because I do like big chunky slides. I like to wear men slides. Y'all already know that. And then sunglasses are from Desi. Perfume of the day is my La Sable Roses by Louis Vuitton. Ooh, it's my favorite. And it's so funny because I said on one of my videos last week was talking about roses and I was saying how I don't like roses, but I totally forgot, which I don't know how I forgot about this perfume because y'all know I talk to y'all about it all the time. This is my favorite perfume. It, it doesn't really smell like rose though but the name of it is Le Sable Roses, but it doesn't smell like rose to me. 
but I love it. This is how it looks. If you guys have never smelled this, go on Louis Vuitton and give it a whiff and let me know what you think. It's my favorite, I love it. Y'all know that's like my signature scent. But yeah, comfy little outfit today. Um, I could wear this crossbody, but it just kind of makes it look so messy to me because how this shirt is. I can't see what I'm doing, but um, this was how I intended to wear it. But like I said, it just kind of looks a bit messy, but I still might do it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, going to this doctor's appointment real quick. It shouldn't take that long. I also have to go to the post office. That's pretty much it. So I just have to get some blood work done today, which I'm not too excited about. They didn't tell me to fast or anything like that because I did eat this morning. So we'll see. <laughs> in the garage, we're getting in the car. I had to go back in the house because I forgot this little envelope that just basically have all of the information when you're a new patient because I'm a new patient at this particular place. I'm going to see a hem hemiologist, I think it is. <sighs> Yeah, I ain't know where my GPS was taking me because I've never been back here before. I didn't even know all of this stuff was built back here because they building up this area. So it's on Bay Meadows, but honestly, I didn't even know that this was a part of Bay Meadows because again, all this stuff back here is new. So I'm a little early. It is 1.13. My appointment is at 1.30. Um, they want you to come a little early because you have to fill out all your paperwork because I will be a new patient at this location. Um, I just have to, my doctor just want me to see this hemiologist um, because y'all know when I was having my little bleeding issues. Um, and so the last time she checked my blood, it was better than the last time, but she expected it to be a little higher. But I think it should be fine because I haven't really had any episodes. So um, she wanted me to come see the doctor for that. So that's why I'm here. But they did send me a packet with all of the new patient's information to sign so that way when I come in I don't have to do it so like I said hopefully this appointment will be very short I'm gonna have to get stuck I'm pretty sure but um yeah so I'm gonna just chill answer some comments until it's time for me to go in so y'all I just finished getting my blood work done. Look at my underarms. <laughs> girl, I be so nervous. <laughs> that is a shame. Girl, I be scared. Girl, I be shaking like a stripper in there. So basically, the appointment was for them to check my arm because y'all know I'm anemic. And I like to stay on top of things. So she wanted to send me to a hemo. Hey, girl, I'm here. Okay. And basically he was saying if um, if it was still low, if he didn't like the number and it wasn't getting any better, then they wanted to give me a iron transfusion, which will be two separate appointments. Um, not today, obviously, because they have to send the blood to the labs. Um, but once they get the blood work back, and depending what the number is, then he wants to give me an iron transfusion, not a blood transfusion, just an iron transfusion. And he said it's a black liquid that they put in my, I think he said he could put it in my hand. And then they keep, up, and then they'll keep me for a little while just to make sure that I don't have any side effects from it. 
um he said which is very rare but you know some people might have side effects like itching swelling stuff like that um but if it's okay then you know he said just keep doing what i'm doing so i think it'll be fine me personally because i haven't been having any issues um i can always tell when my iron is low because you know you get if y'all deal with that iron and anemia all that stuff um the dizziness and you know the headaches and things like that and i really haven't had any of those issues so i think i will be fine and good to go lord willing okay so that's what the appointment was for and i told y'all every time i get my blood drawn i just i freak out because <laughs> it'd be too much so now i'm headed home i wanted to go to at home i did bring the gift card but it's 243 and i just don't want to get stuck in that traffic so i'm gonna just go ahead and take it on to the house all right y'all back home honey pull the door because i'm trying to film i am tired but i'm ready to relax it is 3.31. I don't have to worry about cooking because I cooked a white sauce pasta last night. So we have a little bit of leftovers. And so I don't have to worry about that tonight. So I can just relax. Um, I did get some new shades. They were delivered yesterday. But I didn't get a notification. Hopefully I like them. I saw these on Amazon, or I saw these on Instagram. Like, you know, some company, I don't remember the name of the company, um, was advertising them. And I started to buy them from that vendor. I think it, they were like a hundred and something dollars. But then I said, let me go try to see if I can find a dude, because I've been on point lately. So I found them on Amazon. I actually saw that ad again today. And so, let's see. Okay, they look just like the ones from Instagram. But let's see if they look cute on me. Which this style usually does look cute on me. Y'all okay, know I know how to pick some fly shades. So this is how they look. And this is the side. I can't really see. Let me look in the mirror. I like these. So they look, I don't know if they're coming up the true color on camera because to me, looking in the viewfinder, they look black, but they're brown. Yeah, see that? I like these. These are really cute. So, I am going to post these on Instagram. They might see them before y'all do. I'm not too sure how much footage I have. If I can complete a full vlog today, I'm going to look over my footage. But most likely, they'll still see the sunglasses before y'all. So, hopefully, they don't sell them out. Um, but, yeah, these are fly. I like these. Cute. I wish the lens was a little brighter. These look cute and they don't look cheap. I like these. Yeah, we like those. I gotta take this off because she put it on super tight. I didn't bleed that much. I know I am a big sunglass girly. So this is one case. Like I said, I have the other two pair. I probably wore those this week. The ones that I wore today will go here. And then I don't know what I had over there. These don't go in there. I don't know why I got them in there. 
and then I got this one and then this one I'm gonna put these right over here I was just talking to Instagram because I was showing them some other sunglasses that I had that's similar to the ones that I just bought, but not really. Like, I don't know, I have these. I have them in three colors. I have the tortoise, the black, and then I have the black with the different color, All right? So they look a little different. Um, But with my hair pulled back, I would have to brush it and stuff for it to lay. But how cute. Because I just love like how low this is. It's so different from anything that I have. Like I don't have anything that sits this low. So I really, really like that a lot. So if my hair was done, I have to really pull that down and stuff like that. But how cute. I like it. What y'all think? Cute. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Thursday. It is 6.37 in the morning. I gotta take my son to school and then I'm going to the gym. Y'all, this week, the things that I've been eating is terrible. <laughs> it's terrible okay girl the day before yesterday I cooked um what would you call it like some chicken alfredo pasta with broccoli and I was just in the mood for squash casserole y'all know like we my family that's like something we always have we love squash casserole if you haven't had it before I've showed it on my channel several times because we usually do it on the holidays it's so good it's like squash i use squash and zucchini i think i'm the only one in the family that do it that way but i use squash and zucchini onion cream cheese cream of mushroom regular like shredded cheese breadcrumbs it's so good it's, it's very fattening okay i made a big pan of that and the chicken alfredo because I was just in the mood for I was just in the mood for squash casserole so when Tony came home he like what is all of this I'm like I was just in the mood <laughs> and so as he lowered his plate up he like this is a shame I'm like oh my gosh we tore it up. I had my son come over here yesterday to take some away because it was a lot. But we finished that off yesterday and I feel like crap. <laughs> Y'all, I am running out of my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I forgot to re-up on this. But I still have some time because the sale doesn't end until Monday. And then I went on the website yesterday because y'all know the newest Fenty body butter. I want to try that. Let me show y'all how it look. And I called two Sephora's yesterday because we have one in a Kohl's and then we have one like you know the regular one and neither one of them had it so I ordered it online, but I was able to use my 20% off because I think it's like $86, but with the 20% off, it was like 60 something. But let me show y'all how it looks. And I've heard so many good things about it. And then I completely forgot about it, but it's this one right here. So I ordered it last night, but it won't be here until the 19th. I'm really excited to try it because y'all know I love my body but this is like my favorite i also want to try to it's um oh it's on the tip of my tongue um the other body butter that everybody's been talking about i want to try that one too i can't think of it but it's in a i think it's also in a brown jar but i need to get some of this and then i want to try the other body butter i i love body butter but like i said i'm getting ready to Go to the gym. Well, take my son to school. Go to the gym. I don't think we're going to be able to go to home 
at home today because it's supposed to storm. And y'all already know I can't drive in the rain. I'm spraying some of this um, Dossier, the Woody Sandalwood. I think this is the one. Is this the one that's supposed to smell like Papa Rap? No, this is not it. What is this? I can't remember which one this is, but it smells so good. All right, y'all, I'm back home. I have some packages that I wanted to open with you guys. I picked these up from the post office yesterday, but I wanted to save it to open with you guys. What this is, oh, this is some packages from YSL. What is this? This is Radiant Touch. Is this that concealer? Yeah, this is a concealer. And it's in, I got two in the color seven. This. I'm gonna try to use these today when I do my makeup because the other ones that I have, I still haven't used them yet. So I'm going to use those. I'm gonna take a picture of it on Instagram. Now this is from one of you guys, I think, because somebody did reach out to me and tell me that they sent me something from their jewelry line, but she said she left the card. She forgot to put the card in here. So, um, and I'll put the Instagram name across the screen if you guys are interested in any of these pieces. The boxes are smushed up pretty bad. Look at that. So we gotta work on that. Um, these are the first earrings. They're like some little links. Let me fix this one. So some little links, y'all see that? Those are pretty, I'll give y'all a better shot of them. These are really cute, I would definitely wear these. These are pretty. I might do a cute little picture on Instagram with those on and tag you. Oh, this is so cute. It's a butterfly, look at this. Hopefully y'all can see it. Let me make sure it's focused. Look at that, a butterfly bracelet, a bangle. Let's see how this look on me. I'm gonna put it on this arm. This is so pretty. Look at that. I love that. Really pretty. I love it. This is so cute. I really like butterflies because my grandma, she that's like her favorite thing. Like she loves butterflies. So anytime I see butterflies, I think about my grandma because <laughs> that's her thing. She loves them. This is really pretty. I really, really like this a lot. So cute, thank you so much. I'll take some pictures and put them on Instagram for you and make sure that I tag you. I'll probably do that later on today. And then the last pack, I opened this last night because I could tell by the sticker who it was from, Tatcha. This is why I told y'all from about the, I'm still trying to cool down y'all. It take me a little minute girl, cause I be in there getting it in. Especially when I take my pre-workout, it take me a while to cool down. But this is why I said that I wasn't gonna get too many things from the Sephora sale. Only things that, maybe like one or two things that I wanted to try and then things that I needed to re-up on because I get this free stuff. So they sent me some really good stuff. Me, I love Tatcha. Y'all know I have the, um, let me get the stuff. I got all the products that I have that I bought this stuff for my own money. So the matcha cleanse, 
love that i have the tatcha indigo cleansing balm and then i have the indigo overnight repair cream i have the dewy skin cream and then these two with something else too but i can't remember what it was so that's how i tried the dewy cream i started off with this small one and i loved it y'all see it's just a little bit left i loved it so much so i bought the big one and then this right here i've been using this for the last two weeks this little tube because you only need like a little dime size on your fingertips to wash your whole face and this is the rice wash so i plan on getting the big one i was hoping that they was gonna have it in here but they don't i have the uh let me just show y'all what they sent so they sent over the violet c radiant mask i don't want to rip up the package because i do plan on i have to tag them on instagram so this is how it looks it's a pretty like purple and gold packaging how pretty is that okay so i got that one i think all of them are the in the purple packaging that this one is the rice polish classic this one is in the white packaging and then they sent over the silk serum packaging the silk serum i'm so excited about this this one is a line smoothing plus skin soothing serum know that and then the last thing that they sent is the violet c brightening serum so it's japanese angelica root plus dual vitamin c and aha get it open without tearing up the box and it looks like this so i got these two and these two Thank you so much, Tatcha, for sending that to me. Also, sent me a card. You enjoy adding these products to your routine. XO, Margaret, and the Tatcha team. Thank you <laughs> so much. That's the card. So, yeah, that is everything that I got from the post office box. And happy with that um i still don't know what i'm gonna make for dinner tonight because i need to take something out it's still early though it's 8 30 but it's supposed to storm today it was so windy yesterday and this morning i could barely open my door when i got to the gym it was like that windy outside so it's supposed to start storming i think they said like around 11 so tony doesn't have practice this afternoon so i have to go pick him up so I need to try to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner early. I got to figure out something. I think the only thing we got in there is chicken. We got some chicken thighs, some chicken breasts. I think we got some chicken drums. So I'm not too sure. I'm going to look up some ideas on Pinterest. But for right now, I'm just going to sit here and relax and try to cool down for a second. And then I want to go through my units and um i've been cutting all my units into bobs <laughs> because i told you i'm gonna be wearing bobs like from here on out um because i just i've just been loving it bobs and straight back ponytails is gonna be the vibes so i'm gonna go through my wigs that i have in there see what i can cut i that one that i had with the blonde in it i cut that one into a bob and then i'm like the color was kind of throwing me off a little bit so then i ended up dying that one completely black and then i think i cut it too short 
So then I ended up throwing that one out. So now I have, how many? I think I have, I have two bob wigs on rotation right now. So I have the I See Hair that I turned into a bob and then I have my Hair BV that I turned, well it came in a bob but I cut it shorter. So I wanna make a few more. I have another one in there but the parting is not deep enough. So I haven't been really wearing that one. So I wanna go through some of the ones that I have. And then I have some bob wigs that came as a bob that I can, um, Cut a little shorter to the length that I like because I like about right here. So, and then I do want to start back wearing them behind my ear because y'all know I love that look too. But um, it's so cute with a really short one. But the hair, the one I had on yesterday was the hair BB. That one is a little thicker. So I told y'all before, it's kind of hard for me to get it to lay the way that I want it to lay with both sides. Now I could do one behind my ear, but when I want to do the both behind both sides behind my ear it doesn't lay as flat as i like so i have to get a thinner wig to go for that look but i still want it to be short because it looks so cute y'all know i just did y'all know i just recently did a wig clean out these are brand new still in the pack there's no wigs in here <laughs> um this one is a 10 inch, so this is a bob unit. I think I got two brand new bob units. I don't know who this is from. It's old, I've had this one for a while. It has deep parting. So I like that. I'm not gonna mess with any other brand new ones just yet because I have some in here that I can use. This is a brand new wig, lay still on. Let's see how the parting would look. Oh yeah, this one has pretty good parting too. See, I wish they put their names in the back so I could know exactly where the unit is from. So, it might be from Arabella because that's the bag that I have it in, but ain't no telling. And then this, I thought it was more than one. This is brand new, 26 inches, lace still on. But this is a, um, what do you call that? Like a T lace. Like, let's see how it's just, is a lace in the middle and then lace. I think that's what it's called, T lace. So yeah, I can make this into a bob too, but. I'm gonna wait. I thought I had more bob units than that. That was already short. And then I keep my other units in the back in a pillowcase because girl, it's too many of them. See, I wanna do a color unit into a bob. This lace is not deep enough. It's not deep enough, but see this balayage, that's what I like. Y'all already know. It's like no big chunks. It's, this is a chunk, but it's not at the top. Like I hate that boxy blonde. I, I just don't like that. This one is so perfect. I guess I use this one for a ponytail. I don't know. Then what else I got here that I can cut? I'm just in the mood to cut some wigs up, okay? My camera telling me I've been talking to y'all for too long. But I'm going to put this one on and make sure it's the length that I like. And wash it and stuff like that. That one has been dyed already too. Really quick, my test results just came in. And I'm going to share them with you guys. Okay. So... The part that will determine if I have to get the iron transfusion or not. So that is my CBC. And so 
So we just look at the um, the hemoglobin. So here's my numbers. Everything is in the green and my hemoglobin is at a 12. So I am good to go. <laughs> I'm so excited. But yeah, my hemoglobin is at a 12. I got to send this to Tony so he can know. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I got to send this to him. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about this. Like, I'm so happy about this. And when I was, when I was sick with that cough, my white blood cell levels went down. So I don't know what that was. I think that was some type of virus that was going around and it caused my white cell, my white blood cells to drop. Um, which, you know, that's not a good thing because that means you can get you can't fight off any type of infections or whatever but like he was saying because we did talk about that yesterday he was saying it was something that was going around and that will happen but the number is going back up so i'm in the green on that so i'm really happy about that y'all because i wasn't too worried girl because i'd be praying okay so i wasn't too worried about it but i'm happy Happy, happy girl. So let me go in here and take something out. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here and start a new vlog because I want y'all to be able to get one on Sunday too. I wanted to have this vlog out. My my posting days are gonna be on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, I still haven't heard from the hair company that I did the Yaki unit on. I'm still waiting on them. I don't know if the person that I'm dealing with is sick or what's going on but he on vacation or something child because he ain't got back with me yet and i'm not i can't post a video yet so um i've been getting so many questions about that unit which it is a gorgeous unit oh i got the unit on right now it is a really pretty unit um but i can't post it just yet i have to wait on them and like i said they might have went on vacation and didn't let me know or didn't approve the video before they left so i have to just wait so that's why you guys haven't seen this i've been trying to you know give them time but my hands are tied with that so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here start a new one i hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram at i am sharika b i love y'all and i'll see y'all on the next one bye guys